Hey guys, welcome back to Shortcrest to Success, where I, Randy Vieiro, share with you how to achieve professional baker's recipes and give you some tricks to succeed in the kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be of pâte brisée. Pâte brisée is a shortcrust pastry that is flaky and delicious that can both be used in savory applications and in sweet applications. It consists of three part flour, two parts butter, and one part water with a pinch of salt in there. This is a very simple and easy dough. We're using a food processor for this today so you don't have to get your hands dirty, just a little bit at least. But this is a very basic recipe and I use this recipe about once a week, if not once every 10 days. I love this crust, it's buttery, it's flaky, it's everything you need in life. If this is something that you will enjoy, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming recipes. This recipe only uses flour, cold butter, cold water, and a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt is an eighth of a teaspoon, if you need the actual measurement. We're going to combine our flour, our salt, and butter into the food processor. Now we're going to pulse our butter and flour until it's about a sandy texture. check on it so we still have larger pieces of butter here so we're gonna go a couple more pulses During this time, it's going to help the gluten relax so that your dough does not retract when you roll it out. It's going to let the water go all around and bind with the flour so that it's nice and hydrated so that when you roll it out later on, it doesn't just break apart. So you really want that time to rest in the refrigerator, watch a movie, wash your hair, do something for an hour until your dough is ready to roll out. 
Once your dough is done resting, all you have to do is roll it out at about three to four millimeters and then you place it into whichever tart ring or tart shell that you'll be using and you can bake it at 375 degrees depending on if you're par baking it or if you're blind baking it. Par baking is partially baking a crust to then add an uncooked filling inside the crust and put both back in the oven to finish the baking. You usually want to par bake something that has a filling that bakes at a lower temperature that way your crust has cooked properly and can finish cooking with the filling inside. When par baking a crust, you want to weigh it down with pie weights, rice, or dried beans in my case. Then carefully remove the beans and continue to blind baking if necessary. Blind baking is fully baking the crust, then adding a filling that is also ready to eat. Once fully baked, you can even out your shell using a microplane, then carefully remove your tart ring and let it cool completely. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this recipe, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming recipes. Until next time, cheers.